Well, Mrs. D. Chen is my mother. She's a nurse by profession and a great person to have as a friend for many of my friends from around the world. She's very friendly. She has a great heart. We are so proud now that we are the USE Mrs. T. H. Chan Division of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy. Mrs. T. H. Chan was a nurse in the 1930s, and so much of her work as a nurse was really occurring at the same time that occupational therapy was also growing. World War I actually brought a proliferation of occupational therapy programs because we had returning soldiers coming back from the war injured, not able to, to go back to society. But then over the years, the field has really addressed all kinds of health concerns and has really had a huge influence on human health. Occupational therapy helps individuals participate in their daily lives uh, by uh, giving them the skills maybe that they've lost, helping them uh, gain skills that they haven't yet developed, and is also really concerned with health and well-being, so even before someone maybe has uh, an injury or disability. This gift from the Chant family solidifies the role of occupational therapy, occupational science in the medical arena, and it will allow us to overcome these challenges that we never used to think we could overcome. It is no denying that the USC Occupational Therapy Program is the best in the country. And so our gift will strengthen both the research as well as the clinical practices. USC's Occupational Therapy Program is different in that occupational science was born here. We take the research base and we turn that into clinical practice. This is a really rigorous occupational therapy program. I didn't come here just to get a degree, I came here because I wanted to be a great therapist. Our professors are the leaders in the field, so to actually have them teaching the courses is such an honor. The main focus of my research is on prevention of childhood obesity in early childhood. My current research is focused on investigating the neural mechanisms of sensory motor integration in children with autism. USC developed lifestyle redesign. We basically look at a person's daily habits and routines and we help them change those habits and routines so that they are more health promoting. Being a part of USC is being a part of an ongoing legacy and the profession as a whole looks to USC um, basically to find out like what are they going to do next. Mr. and Mrs. Chan have given us an opportunity to build on our legacy of excellence by looking at opportunities to expand public health programs around the world with populations that have been underserved for many years, particularly in developing countries. We're seeing the emergence of chronic diseases and disabilities replicated throughout the world. And so there's going to be a growing need for occupational therapists to help people to deal with stroke, heart attack, diabetes, obesity. The world has an aging population. And in many cultures, the aged population depend on the younger people to provide for them and care for them. So we have a unique perspective where we empower these individuals to live an independent life. Autism is globally present in every single population on this planet. But not every child on this planet get occupational therapy. As a veteran, I know the difficulty when you come back. As an occupational therapist, I want to work with veterans, helping them transition from the combat lifestyle to the civilian world. A very important part of this gift is the China Initiative. What we're going to be able to do is really significantly impact the growth of occupational therapy in China, thereby impacting one of the largest world populations. We are going to be able to have unbelievable global impact. Gifts such as this in this type of amount becomes transformative. We will have the opportunity to really touch and, and change lives everywhere. I think this new gift is going to bring in new faculty who have innovative ideas. I'm also excited to see the types of students who come in. 
Receiving the gift has been a source of inspiration. It was the confidence that was invested in all of us for the work that we do and for the good that we do and for for the potential that we have to accomplish even more. How can we continue to maintain our legacy? How can we continue to build upon the excellence? If we have something good, why not share it? And so the ability to help USC in its quest to spread this meaningful profession to many parts of the world, I think is a worthwhile goal.